want to work faster, master the pattern tools and speed up your workflow effortlessly. This video is part of our Unreal Engine full course. Subscribe and check the playlist for more tutorials. In this lesson, I want to discuss a very useful tool for assembling a scene, the pattern. This tool helps us make instances or copies of an object and place them in a chosen pattern. In our case, we want to use the pattern to build out the mini port here. Before building the port, let's complete the scene a bit more. First, I downloaded this stone wall and added it to the scene. As mentioned, I want to provide the asset ID for any items I use in the description below. I used all of the techniques we learned about modular design to build a wall for my complex. Later, I downloaded this mossy pavers material to cover the ground. However, before I applied this material to the ground, I replaced the placeholder cubes I used to build my ground with nanite cubes made in the previous version so we could have nanite on all the elements in the scene. Later, I just applied the material to the cube and adjusted the tiling while looking at my human figure to determine the correct scale for tiling. Remember, since I built my ground with two separate cubes, I had to make a duplicate from my tile material and apply it to the second cube to adjust its repetition and size to match the first cube. Let's move on to building the mini port here. I found these three pieces in the Megascan library and will add them to my project to build my port using the pattern tool. I go to my content drawer, isolate the items I added to my project and drag them to the scene. Let's clean up the outliner by putting everything in a folder and calling it port. So let's start building the port. Let's start with the columns. I want to place the columns in front. Other than placing them one by one, another way that I can spread out the columns is by going to the modeling tools, X form, and pattern. As you can see, it will create an array of columns for me and there is a gizmo that allows me to change the location of this array. You can access many options to optimize this array, but let's focus on some of the most important ones. For example, you can have it over a grid or a circle, but right now I'm going to arrange it over a line. Two parameters are important when arranging them over a line. One is the extent that I want the array to cover and the second is the count number of items I want to make the array from. You also have some other options to play with, but I want to rotate my items to make it more randomized. One feature is that I can apply a jitter so every item has a different rotation to make it more randomized. Also, on the scale side, you can see that I can scale the items accordingly. I will also change the scale here and place it in the location I want. I'm adjusting it with the scale, considering how big I want this to be. Also you see that the scale is proportional, so you can adjust it in one direction if you want to. I want to make deeper columns and I believe this is a good count but I need one more. I can extend it a little bit more here as well. If you want to save all the changes you have made until now, you must hit accept at the bottom. But before I accept it, click on separate actor, so it will place an instance of the original actors in the line to grade the array. If you don't check this option, it will create a new account or object from the combination of all the columns in the array. And in your case, we don't need that. There are two reasons why keeping them separate is much better. First, by keeping them separate, you are just using the instances of the original column instead of creating a new object from the combination of them, which will help keep your project's file size low. Secondly, Nanite will work much better on separate pieces. This is a very complicated topic, but I leave a link to a detailed explanation if you want to know why. We will see that many new items have been selected inside the outliner as soon as we accept. Let's do the same thing this time with this item. I'm going to select the pattern. As you see, my old changes are still here. So I will reset some of the changes I made in the last throw. 
I think just changing the scale of these will be useful for me at this point, and I will adjust accordingly here. I can scale it up, make it more like this, and then hit accept. In each case, we don't need the original version anymore. In the last attempt, I want to hide all of these items. We don't need these. I want to use this to cover the top. As you can see, it is going in the wrong direction. So I can easily come here and find the correct angle. I'm going to put this in the center. And just extend this and hit accept. We don't need the original one anymore. I can select these and move forward a bit. Here, I think I need a copy of this to turn and make it like this and bring it up to cover this. I'm going to clean up my outliner by putting everything in the port and I'm going to go back to selection mode. As you can see, we are done building our buildings. Now I'm going to discuss the next lesson which will involve landscapes.